adjectives derived from adjectives so like uh, nouns as nouns are derived from nouns similarly adjectives from adjectives however in adjectives the predominant thing is prefix instead of suffix so we add prefix with an adjective to get an another type of adjective with another meaning the only suffix of note is ish that comes at the end for example uh, somewhat x as in green which is adjective and we add ish to make it an adjective greenish small ish smallish which is uh, somewhat small or somewhat green otherwise generally it is the prefix that uh, is more common with adjectives to derive adjectives from adjectives by contrast the prefix un meaning not is extremely widespread happy unhappy sure unsure reliable unreliable discovered undiscovered so this is a very common prefix to that is added to an adjective to get another adjective being common most dictionaries even do not include them i mean you won't find unhappy in a dictionary unsure in a dictionary since it is commonly made you can add un with sure you can add un with happy to get another adjective another negative prefix is in right and it has certain alum of uh, depending on the sound that it is attached with we can have spelling like its variant like ill or im like intangible illegal irresponsible impossible etc the pair of more or less synonym synonymous adjectives right? that means that adjectives which have similar meanings one negates with un and other negates with in right so this is a uh, another type of prefix so for example we have eat uh, eatable and we can add un to make it uneatable and edible which has some similarity of meaning with eat so we use in with it instead of un and get inedible read unreadable and legible which has a little uh, synonymous meaning with it so we get eligible law uh, lawful unlawful and we get legal illegal right so the pairs are similar and but so far as they are taking prefix is concern one takes un and other takes in some of the processes that derive adjective from verbs overlap the divide between derivation and inflection so sometimes we get an adjective from an ad from an uh, from a verb and whether the addition is derivational process or inflectional process uh, is a question for example suffix ed and and ing generally we, you know that we use uh, uh, the past participle form of a verb as adjective and similarly ing form of a verb as adjective and similarly and form of the verb as adjective right you can have example a not very interesting book in which the interesting present participle or progressive participle is used as adjective which is actually a verb the party goes sounded very drunk so here drunk is used as an adjective so past participle is used as an adjective the car seem more damaged than the lamp post so more than is used with damage to show it that damage here is used as adjective which actually is taken from verb damage so further suffixes that commonly form adjective from, uh, from verb with their basic meanings are able able to be ext for example breakable readable reliable and watchable ant or a e n t or a n t turning to x for example repellent expectant conversant and if turning to x repulsive explosive and speculative
with able variant or alum of able a b l e or i b l e the able word have clearly identifiable verbal meaning such as eat eatable uh, read readable and touch touchable and other bound rather than free uh, and other are bound rather than free the other uh, base forms are bound they are not free whereas eat read and touch are uh, free morphemes some of the bound verb roots appear in a number of derived lexemes such as odd right we can have uh, th this does not stand alone this root we can have audible audience audib uh, auditory but it uh, it has something to do with hearing and they do not stand alone they are uh, bound not free uh, roots so suffixes that form adjective from nouns are more numerous they are more common than uh, adjective uh, from verbs for example we can have full we joy we we added with a noun and get a joyful hopeful helpful and meaningful similarly less joyless hopeless helpless and meaningless and all or ish original normal personal national and boyish loutish waspish and selfish generally seen adjective in full and less tend to come in pairs for example if we have helpful there is helpless although the correspondence is not exact i mean if less is if we can have an adjective with less it's not necessary that there should be another with full we have slothful slothless but not penniless uh, we have penniless but not penniful this confirms again that even when the meaning of a potential word may be easily guessable a slothless person would be hard working and a penniful person would be uh, well off the existence of the word is not found is not guaranteed so this is how we can see that how we form adjectives from adjectives sometimes we form adjective with the help of verb and other with the help of nouns